Hi, this video is for uh, a demonstration of a uh, bandsaw speed reduction kit that I purchased from a gentleman that sells the kits on eBay. He made a kit for a 9 inch and I had a 10 inch saw. I'd always wanted a, uh, a saw that was a dual purpose for both wood, but being that I do mostly metal stuff, I didn't want a dedicated machine that took up space in my shop. So I reached out, contacted him and he was kind enough to do the math brilliant man uh, and he came up with a kit to convert my saw my 10 inch saw with just the addition of a pulley to the stock pulley on the back side and a new belt to where it slowed down enough to where i could cut uh, metal alloys so i'll be cutting some materials for you i'll show you which materials i'm going to cut i'm going to show you which blade i use and i'll show you a little bit about the inside of the saw and where the pulley goes so i'll be right with you so what I'll be demonstrating on today is some different uh, thicknesses and types of metals that we'll cut with a bandsaw and you can see the effective uh, method that it does. I, I'm, I'm totally pleased with the performance of the saw and in about 10 minutes I can switch it back to where I can cut woods and just thoroughly pleased with it. But we're going to do some 3 16 strap some 16 gauge sheet, some 14 gauge sheet. Uh, there's a piece of eighth there. This is all cold rolled stuff. There's a piece of 5 16 There's a piece of one inch uh, ERS tubing that's uh, 095 wall. And then there's a piece of uh, box tube one inch by 3.063 wall thickness. So, um, the blade that I use is, of course, for the 10 inch saw, or for the 10 inch saw, it's 70 and one half inches long by a half inch wide, 24 teeth per inch. And I'm not quite sure, I don't remember what the 0.025 is. I uh, sourced this vendor, PowerTech, through eBay. This is a backup belt. I don't know how many cuts I've made, but the actual bandsaw blade that's on the machine now is the one I started with after doing some experimenting. But there you can see it is a 10 inch bandsaw. Let me see if I can get around here and show you a little bit about what's involved with changing from wood to metal. Uh, let me see if I can light it up well enough here. Here we go. So what happens is if you want to switch from cutting wood to cutting steel, I apologize for the light. There is a, this is the standard pulley, the larger one here. So what you would do is take Release all the pressure off. Take your wood blade off. Take this circlip off right here. Loosen up the adjustment on the motor. Take the large pulley off. And the kit he sells is this pulley here that I'm touching on the back side that's much smaller. It provides much more torque. And it slows down the blade to where you can cut. Uh, I think he has it posted on his... Uh, on his eBay ad, what it slows it down to. It's not as slow as a uh, production bandsaw uh, for metal, but it slows it down well enough to where it does, I haven't had any heat issues or anything like that. So he supplies a belt and this pulley and instructions on how to drill the holes to mount that pulley. So now say you go ahead and do your metal job and you wanna switch it back to wood you do everything just like you did before. You remove this circlip and you loosen your belt. You slide this pulley off and then you put the supplied belt that is standard for the for the uh, wood bandsaw on and it everything stays there. So it runs off of the smaller pulley that's on the back side of this hub. And that's for wood. It's much higher speed. And of course you switch back to the wood bandsaw blade. So let me do some cuts, and um, if you're considering doing this, I would highly recommend it. 
it's much more affordable than buying another saw and having a dedicated machine. So let's do some cuts and you can see how it works. So here we go. I'm going to start with a piece of 16 gauge. If you can see that 16 gauge, the light's horrible again. I apologize. 16 gauge. Always be careful when you're using power tools and I would recommend using hearing protection because the sound from a bandsaw is uh, annoying as well as I'm not sure what decibel level it is, but it could injure your hearing, so be careful. Here we go. Okay, now we'll cut a piece of uh, 14 gauge cold plate steel. Okay, let me mention that uh, after making those two cuts, the material itself gets warm, but the blade does not. So now we're going to cut a piece of one inch 095 wall tubing, EMS. Quite nice. You heard it start to lug down. Just don't force it. Let the saw work at its own pace and it'll cut just fine. Okay, while I still got it set up for uh, one inch, I'll go ahead and do a piece of one by three box tubing, hollow box tubing, 063 wall. Okay, this is a piece of uh, eighth inch, 125.125. Uh, and I'm just gonna cut a corner off this to keep, uh, the next couple pieces will be just uh, small pieces to keep the video short. And you'll be able to see 
what the capability is of the, the saw itself. <laughs> That was eighth inch. We'll do a piece of uh, three sixteenths now. There you go, three sixteenths. was three sixteenths. Okay, this is the last piece. It's five sixteenths. This is the heaviest stuff that I've cut with this uh, combination here. Uh, I will try and leave a link to uh, his listing on eBay for this particular uh, conversion for the 10 inch bandsaw. He, like I said, he also makes one for a nine inch and I believe his eBay handle is patent expert he's out of Boynton Florida super guy to work with uh, couldn't be happier if you don't want a dedicated bandsaw for metal and you want to be able to use your wood saw and you have one of these small benchtop models I would highly recommend this so let me cut this piece of 5 16 we'll shorten this video up and I'll try to post a link in there um, hope you enjoyed the video And there you have it. I, again, I apologize. Let me see if I can turn the light up here. I can get a look at that cut. Nice clean cut. Um, like I said, I do mostly sheet metal work and some fabrication with stuff up to 5 16 and 3 8 But this is a perfect combination for uh, the existing tools I have, which is a plasma cutter and a MIG TIG, those kind of tools for doing uh, metal fabrication. So if you're thinking about it, Take a look at patent expert stuff on eBay, uh, and you don't have to buy another machine. You can have one that does both. Thanks for watching.